Zack is really looking forward to the winter holidays. He loves to play in the snow. But Sella is happy only in spring. She loves flowers and the butterflies in the park. Neither of them is fond of autumn when they have to clean up all the leaves that keep falling in their garden. Have you wondered why it is not winter all year round? Today we shall discover why we have different seasons. Look at this rotating top. It does not stay in one place but moves as it rotates. The earth similarly does not remain in the same place as it rotates. It moves around the sun in a definite path. This path is called the earth's orbit. This movement of the earth around the sun in an orbit is called a revolution. It takes 12 months or 365 and a quarter days to complete one revolution around the sun. You know that the earth rotates around its axis. This axis of the earth is actually tilted. You can see how the earth tilts in a model of the earth called a globe. Due to this tilt, one half of the earth is towards the sun and the other half is slightly away from the sun. This tilted axis of the revolving earth is responsible for the different seasons. Let us conduct an activity to understand this. Hold a torch straight and note the brightness of the light of the lighted outer portion. Now tilt the torch slightly and note the brightness of the slanting light. In which position is the torch light less bright? Yes, this is because slanting light has to travel a greater distance, hence its brightness decreases. Now, which place on earth is hotter and brighter? Place A which is tilted towards the sun or place B which is tilted away from the sun? Places on earth which are tilted towards the sun get sunlight coming straight. This light is brighter and hotter. These areas experience the summer. Places tilted away from the sun get slanting light from the sun. This light is less bright and has less heat. These areas endure the winter season. Now the earth is also revolving around the sun. After six months the lower part of the earth is tilted towards the sun and the upper half is tilted away from the sun.